Hi, I'm Pauline Kell and I am at Dragon Con 2018 where I cannot stop sweating. I am here with Kayla. Say hi, Kayla. Hi, everybody. No, I say, say hi, Kayla. Hi, Kayla. <laughs> okay. um, so, I, I met you when you were working with the place that shall not be named. Yes. <laughs> and you have moved on since then doing all kinds of cool stuff. So, what, what, what you been up to? Everything, a lot of stuff I can't talk about, which I will be able to talk about like later. Everybody got these secret jobs and shit they doing. I wish I could, but I feel like there's a drone that follows me around and one of them, if I say it, I'll be like in super big trouble. Okay. But it's one of the bigger ones, if you think about it. Just rub that in. Just rub that in. <laughs> I'm working my shitty ass day job. Rub that in. No, and, I'm, and that's the thing. I, I've still got the day job. I've still got mom life and just balancing doing something that I love right now mm -hmm. and that's what's been like I was doing it for someone else uh -huh. and none of the credit was coming to me none of my hard work was being credited so now that I'm doing it for myself it's so rewarding is it it's so good well first that's amazing and in case people don't know you're a writer yes writer social media creator so I do all of the things um, anything nerd pop culture that's me. Um, I'm this. I like to make people laugh. I try not to be too heavy because I feel like with the world we're living in right now, it's a lot. Um, it's a it's a ton. So you for me, just, to, you're like the opposite of me. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and I, I've been told so many times that I'm I'm negative in certain aspects of my life, and it's normally in my day job when I'm around people without melanin. Mm -hmm. And I, but when I'm around people like me, people who get the struggle, they understand why. I might be pessimistic, yes. um, and then they understand why I like to make jokes and like to make people happy. So for me, it's a joy doing the live tweets, you know, commenting on something that happens, making a joke about Shaka Khan at Aretha Franklin's funeral. If it's going to make everybody feel good, I want to be a part of that. I can appreciate that. I really can. So you're dressed as, I want to say, Mar Marceline, Marceline yes. from Adventure Time. Yes. Yeah. And that was big on for me because um, I have PCOS, so I, my weight goes up and down, and it's a balance. And finding something that's comfortable to wear as a cosplay is really hard. Um, so I kind of get frustrated with myself. And I had something set for today, and then I saw I had all the pieces for this. I'm like, why have I never done this? <laughs> and I was like, this is crazy. I watch Adventure Time. The show's about to end. It means a lot to me and my family. There you go. So I'm going to do it. And then I feel good in the reception I've gotten today. As a plus size person, who's a smaller plus size even, it's been great. It makes me feel good because I haven't felt good about myself in a really long time. So. First off, you're gorgeous. So I don't even understand where any of this is coming from. <laughs> I mean, don't get me no. I just actually posted something the other day about how I take off my makeup and I'm, I'm getting ugly again. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. It's like I look at my out. Sometimes I'll walk past myself in the mirror and I'm like, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't know. I don't understand. And it's been a struggle. And, you know, I had eating disorders when I was a kid from Nance, and they kind of pound that into you. You have to be a certain weight, and mm -hmm. I'm a black woman, so I got curves very early. So then it was to make me feel bad about me looking a certain way, and then it was, well, I don't have enough of this, I don't have enough of that, and then I'm finally at a point right now. It took me trying on my wedding dress to be like, this is what they're going to get. This is it. Like, I'm not going to change that. So. Whatever cosplay I choose is for me. Exactly. Like, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to feel comfortable about it. So putting this on today after it came to, in a thought yesterday, literally in a thought, like, I have all of this at home. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. It feels really good because then I'm like, I feel good. That is awesome <laughs> and amazing. And uh, believe me, I get it. Yeah. Like, this Dragon Con, um, none of my cosplays had corsets, and I'm very proud of that. Like, and... Not, I'm not quite sure how I got into the corset habit. I guess I got used to the silhouette, but I got tired of not being able to bend over and pick up and my stuff. I, had to ha I did the corset. I did Queen of Hearts yesterday. Um, I had to have him lace me in. I had to lay on the bed for him to put on my tennis shoes. Right? So I wore it for about two and a half hours and said, screw this, and put on a Chucky Finster shirt and did Rugrats and felt completely happy. Right? You know? So I feel like... As soon as I took off the corset, like all the patriarchy was just off of me. <laughs> I was like, yes, yes. I feel that. You know I feel that. Like I wore something that was like real fitted and I was like, well, fuck it. Fuck it. It's what you're going to get. I did put on some Spanx, but whatever. 
I get it. So, well, I want to thank you so much for coming and chatting with me. What's next for like this evening, the rest of Dragon Con, or even whatever? Um, it's gonna be crazy. So I will be going to a few other panels this afternoon, running around trying to get some stuff for press, um, and then trying to wind down with a dinner. Maybe go see some people dance very awkwardly at the Yule Ball. <laughs> it's always guaranteed. Um, and then this month is going to be really crazy, and I'll have lots of stuff to talk about after the fact. So okay. just like follow me if you want to. Okay, um, where can they follow you? You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and it's Maria Hisella, and it's M A R I A underscore G I E S E L A. So that's where you can see all of the stuff that's coming up. And I do a Monday night live tweet to set everybody's week off right. So if you want to do that with us, Feel always good. join us. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweaty, yeah, but no, I'm sorry. You're good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you.